Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel today. Uh, I know it's been a while since uh, we've posted anything, but uh, we've had a lot going on. And uh, anyways, uh, I thought I'd post this video right here. We've, uh, I'm sure you can hear in the background all the construction. Um, I've got uh, eight acres behind me and uh, it goes, it goes all back through here and um let me see if i can get the dozers in the background somewhere i don't know if y'all can see all those but um anyways what i was saying is yeah yeah you can see the dozers they're uh they're taking them eight acres down and they're gonna they're gonna put up townhomes and so it just really irritates me. Over the years, I have killed a lot of nice deer out of there, um, and uh, you know, it just, it, it just, I, I'm tired of seeing good land go to waste. And um, anyways, let's get back to why I'm shooting this video today. Uh, since they started taking all that stuff down, we've had a coyote problem. I've had a pack of six running through my yard, and. Um, They've been uh, out here at night. They've been out here in the daytime. They, I mean, they just, they're out everywhere. I've actually shot two of them, got rid of them. But uh, I put a, I put a coyote trap out. And um, let me see, can you see that? I put a coyote trap out and I uh, was gonna try to catch one. And so anyways, I ain't caught a coyote yet, but I did catch something. I caught a raccoon. And this raccoon, there's only one problem. He's he's missing his tail. And I can't tell right now, he's, he's alive, but he's in the back of the cage. He looks hurting and I just, I feel bad for him. And I mean, his tail's gone. And I can't tell if one of those, uh, one of them big dozers over there, and you can hear them running in the background, you know how coons like to uh, climb up in the top of a tree uh, during the day and they're over pushing them down. So I can't tell if, if maybe he got pushed over and his tail got ripped off or if maybe a coyote got a hold of him and, um, you know, ripped his tail off. But the way he looks, I ain't seen no bite marks on him, no fight marks, no nothing. So... It's leading me to believe that the construction has actually uh, probably been the reason that he don't have a tail right now. But um, we're going to find out. I'm going to dispatch this coyote. Um, I'm not going to do it on uh, on this video. Um, that'll be uh, later on. But um, I'm going to show you this uh, raccoon. And you, you'll be able to tell. He's, he's just he's in a lot of pain. Um, poor little fella, he, he's just, he's just in a lot of pain, and if you come back here and you look at him, I mean, he, uh, he don't feel good, but he's a, uh, he's a big boar coon, I think, and, uh, but his tail's missing, and um, sorry if I'm not getting a, a good view of him, but uh, anyways, he's gonna die from infection or if I turn him loose, the uh, coyotes are gonna get him. So anyways, I'm, I'm gonna dispatch this coon and uh, once I do it, uh, after I dispatch him, we're gonna take a look and we're gonna see if he has any bite marks on him or uh or what happened i mean i it blows my mind i've never seen a raccoon without no tail uh it's been ripped off with no fight marks on him or anything like that so uh y'all just hang tight and um i'm gonna take care of this and uh this is part one and i just want to i just want to remind you guys I know I ain't been posting, but I'm going to start posting. So, uh, y'all stick with me, and y'all please hit that subscription button, smash that like button, hit the notification bell, and uh, 
this summer's coming and we, we got a lot of videos me and Emery, my little booger bear we're gonna put uh we're gonna put some videos out this summer so y'all uh y'all just stick with us and this is part one so be watching out for part two y'all have a great day